Hello everyone, welcome to this examination solution. We're going to discuss about Cosen Mathematics 2015 and this is part 1. First is, let's solve the equation of x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. So this is the answer is just to find the roots of this cubic equation. And to find this, we just have to use first is the Horner equation where we just substitute a number where the function would later result in 0. And that x is minus 1. When you substitute minus 1 into the cubic equation, you can find that it is uh, minus 1 cubic plus 4 times minus 1 squared plus 4 minus 1 plus 1. And this is minus 1 plus 4 minus 4 plus 1. And this is 0. And because this is equals to 0 when x equals minus 1 is substituted to the cubic equation, then x plus 1 is one of the factors of the equation. And from here, we use the Horner equation where we jot down the constant, this 1, 4, 4, and 1, and x equals minus 1. And this is just go down 1, 1 times minus 1 is minus 1, 3, then minus 1 times 3 is minus 3, 1, and this is minus 1, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is x squared plus 3x plus 1. So this is the another factor of the cubic equation. So from this, we find the roots of the equation. From this, the roots is x equals minus 1. And this, we use the formula of minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 4, 4a over 2a so that is minus 3 plus or minus uh, 9 minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2 this is basically minus 3 plus or minus root 5 over 2 so you can see that for the equation number 1 the answer is minus 1 and minus 3 plus or minus root 5 over 2 now for number 2 is about the trigonometric equation so that is cosine 2x plus cosine x equals 0 from the interval of 0 to 2 pi and from this we just uh, change the cosine 2x into another trigonometric identity of 2 cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine x we rearrange the function and from this we substitute cosine x into y to be able to factorize the equation so let's assume that cosine x equals to y so 2y squared plus y minus 1 equals 0 and then from here we could actually factorize that into 2y minus 1 y plus 1 right and here we could find the roots, which is 2 minus 1 equals 0, y equals half. And the another root is y plus 1 equals 0, which is y equals minus 1. And you can see that y is cosine x. So cosine x equals half, another is cosine x equals minus 1. And the value of cosine x, the angle that makes cosine x is half, is the cosine of pi over 3. Pi over 3 radian or 60 degrees so for the trigonometric equation for cosine x is that if you have cosine x equals cosine alpha you, the trigonometric equation x equals alpha plus k times 2 pi and also x equals minus a plus k 2 pi so from this x equals minus pi over 3 plus k 2 pi and also one more, x equals pi over 3 plus k to pi. The way to calculate this is we assume k as either the constant for of minus 1, 0 to 1 and another equation. The simple reason is we have to find the value of x from this that not exceed 0 and 2 pi interval. So if we put k equals minus 1, x is minus pi 3 plus 2 pi which is 5 pi over 3 
and this value of x doesn't exceed the interval. So this is one of the values of the trigonometric equation. If we put x equals 0, that will be x equals minus pi over 3. Meanwhile, negative values doesn't satisfy the interval. So x equals minus 3 is not the solution, right? So this is k equals plus 1. And then if k is minus 1, so this minus pi over 3 minus 2 pi, it will become more negative, and so the negative value is not satisfied here, right? And then also, if you go into another equation, x equals pi over 3, if we put k equals minus 1, this will become pi over 3 minus 2 pi, it will become negative, does not satisfy the interval. If you put k equals 0, that will be x equals pi 3, which satisfy the interval, okay? And if you put k equals plus 1, so this pi over 3 plus 2 pi, that will become 7 pi over 3, which is already exceed the interval. So it's not satisfied the interval. So from the first equation of cosine x equals cosine pi over 3, we got two values that satisfy the interval. And now from the second equation is cosine x equals minus 1. So cosine x equals minus 1, the value that satisfies is cosine pi. So x equals pi plus k over 2 pi, and one more, x equals minus pi plus k times 2 pi. Now this, if k is 0, that will become x equals pi, which satisfies the interval. And then if k equals minus 1, that will become negative. If, x, if k is 1, that will exceed the interval. So the only value is x equals pi, and the same also with this. If k equals minus 1, it will become more negative. If k is 0, that will become minus pi. And if k is 1, that will become pi, the same value as this. So from the trigonometric equation, we got three values, which is pi over 3, pi, and 5 pi over 3. So that is the answer for number 2. Now for number 3, it says about the inequality. So 3 to the power of 3x plus 1 plus 1 over 3x less than 4. And from this, we try to rearrange this equation. And we let's say we assume 3x, 3 to the power of x is y. So 3y plus 1 over y less than 4. And then we uh, multiply y. So 3y squared plus 1 less than 4y. And we just factorize this equation, so that will become 3y minus 1, y minus 1. And you can see that we have two values here. That is 3y equals 1, y equals 1 over 3. And also one more is y equals 1. And you can see that y, we assume as 3 to the power of x. So 3 to the power of f is x is 1 over 3, so x is minus 1. And then 3 to the power of x is 1 x is 0. And you can see that we have the interval of less than. So less than, the values that is lesser than the other is in the left, and with the less than x, less than 0. So that is if the sign here is less than. If this is larger than, which is the, this symbol, that will become x less than minus 1, or x equals x larger than 0. So the value is minus 1 less than x less than 0. Now let's go to number four. Number four is about the logarithm uh, inequality that logarithm with the base two of root two x minus one is less than logarithm four times x. And you can see here that we have to equal the base of the logarithm so that the content of the logarithm we can uh, equalize to each other. So this logarithm two and you know that 4 is to the power of 2. And with the identity of logarithm, when the power here, the exponent here, is made into in front, it will become half logarithm base 2x. And if we want to make this half into the content of the logarithm, it will not become 2 to the power of 2, but rather become 2 to the x to the power of half, which is essentially root x. So now the base is equal. We could just take out the content and 2x minus 1 less than x, we 
squared up so x is less than 1 now the logarithm is not stopped there because we have to make sure that the logarithm satisfy that the logarithm uh, whatever the content is the content should be uh, bigger than 0 so logarithm of 0 and logarithm of negative number there will be no value so the root of 2x minus 1 must be greater than 0 so that is 2x greater than 1 x greater than half and one more is x is greater than 0 and from these three inequalities we put that in the one number line 0 1 half and 1 so greater than 0 is this interval and then greater than half is this interval and for less than 1 is this interval and you can see that the one that has the darkest shade is the answer it is the interval of half less than x less than one so this is the inequality of the logarithm mm -hmm.